everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another card kit video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to be using the stamp set from the November 2018 card kit. This is called Thanks and Leaves. And there's tons of really great greetings and sentiments in this stamp set. And I'm going to be focusing on just one of them, or rather two of the greeting stamps together because they work well together. I've got some white cardstock in my Misty stamp positioning tool, and this white cardstock um, is cut to four inches tall by six inches wide. That's because I'm going to be making a five by seven card today, and so I want this stamping piece that's going to go on the card to be just slightly smaller than the finished card size. I'm using a transparency grid to help position my stamp, and then I've generously coated that area with an anti-static powder tool. I'm gonna to be doing some heat embossing and using an anti-static powder tool like that is the best thing you can ever do to up your heat embossing game because that anti-static powder tool puts a little tiny layer, a very thin layer of powder across that area and it prevents embossing powder from sticking to areas where you don't want it. Now you can see when I do it right here, I'm gonna have some embossing powder right across the top and that's kind of the cutoff of where my uh, brush tool didn't hit. So I'm using a dry paintbrush just to brush any of that embossing powder away. And then I can heat set that until my entire stamped image is smooth and melted. I'm gonna place this piece back into my Misty stamp positioning tool. I'm gonna put that grid transparency sheet back on top so I can get this position just right. And then put another greeting right above that first one. And this really long, skinny, typed greeting, it really helps you get it positioned just right when you use a transparency grid like that because it really allows you to get everything straight. So I went through the same heat embossing steps by using an anti-static powder tool and then uh, stamping it in Versamark ink and then sprinkling on that embossing powder. At this point, when I saw all that embossing powder, I thought, oh no, what have I done wrong? But as soon as I tapped my fingernails on the back of my cardstock, it shook off any of that excess and I was able to heat set it until it was smooth and melted. So now I'm gonna move on to the bulk of the stamping for this card here. And I've taken about every single acrylic block in my stash out of my drawer and I've put a different leaf stamp on each block. This is just going to help me do the stamping a little bit faster. Now I have enough blocks in my stash to have an individual stamp on each block, but if you don't, you can double up the stamps on each block by mounting one on each side of the block. You just want to have the stamps kind of off to one side on each one so that you can still see through the stamp, uh, see through the block to see what the stamp is. I'm using a bunch of Distress Oxide ink colors. I'm starting out with Walnut Stain, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about stamping with Distress Oxide inks and why I chose this particular ink. And the main reason is because I knew I would be switching colors of ink really often. The whole idea behind this card is to have different bands of color stamped going all the way up this card. And so I knew I would be changing colors of ink very frequently. And I didn't want to deal with having to clean off the ink off the different stamps or have that be more difficult than it needed to be. This color I'm moving on to is Forest Moss. So Distress Oxide inks are kind of like a hybrid between pigment and dye inks. They're very unique. It's a really cool formulation. And they clean off your stamps super, super easy. There's no staining left behind. There's no ghosting. There's no mixing of colors. Even if you've cleaned it off really well and then you go to switch inks and you're like, oh, nope, that first ink was still there. None of that happens. It cleans off super easily. I've now moved on to Fired Brick. Um, anyway, so I wanted to use Distress Oxide inks specifically for that reason, because I knew it would be switching colors. And this kind of goes for any type of pigment ink you might have in your stash, or if you're thinking about pigment inks, this is a great reason to have pigment inks um, in your arsenal, because they are so easy to switch between the colors. The color I'm using now is Rusty Hinge. This is, this is one of the brand new colors um, that Ranger just released. They've released the rest of the colors for the Distress line in Distress Oxide, and this is one of the color, last colors to be released. So I have this uh, in my stash and thought I'd show it to you guys today. It's that nice rusty orange shade. 
I'm now using fossilized amber to finish off those bands of color. As far as the card base goes, I'm cutting some uh, Nina Desert Storm and Environmental cardstock to 10 inches wide by uh, 7 inches tall and then scoring that at five. And I had to rotate it once since my mini score pal or the score buddy wasn't quite tall enough to get all of that card base. So I just rotated it around. And then I folded my card in half and used my Teflon bone folder just to get that fold crease down really, really well. The last thing to do is to adhere this stamped piece to the front of my card. And I could use some foam tape if I wanted to, but today I thought I'd change it up a bit and use some craft foam. So I'm adding some Tombow Extreme Adhesive to the back of my stamped piece first. I'm just going around all four sides and then a couple little strands in the middle. And then I'm putting my piece of craft foam. And I just cut down that craft foam in my paper trimmer. I'm adding some adhesive to the back of the foam. And with this, sometimes the foam doesn't really want to grab onto that adhesive. So just make sure you're getting a really even strip of adhesive and you should be just fine. And then press that stamped piece down onto the front of my card. And that completes the card for today. Super colorful, easy stamping, a lot of fun.